Oh my goodness. There's a lot that has changed. They've gained more of a voice. Now I feel like more people are listening to kids their age and it's okay for them to not like something a lot more than it was when I was younger. When I, I went to school, you know, boys did boys things, girls did girls things. So I think society changed. When we bought our colors, you know, we try to keep it neutral. The, she does gravitate toward Barbies and things that are feminine because I think it's just, society still has that ingrained in our, in our culture. Girls right now rather watch TV or be on their phone or, or be on social media instead of actually physically connecting to friends. I feel like um, for Luna's generation, the thing that is the most striking is probably around gender. And it's really cool for me to see how natural and how accepting her and her friends are of transgender students. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, fine. Like, you know, you're transitioning to a boy or you're transitioning to a girl and now you're using the boy's bathroom. Like, that's so normal for her. I unfortunately think a lot hasn't gotten better. And that's very incredibly sad to me. Role of women in a household, um, you know, sort of women who work just double down still, you know, they're doing the housework and the, and the outside homework. I see how it hasn't changed and I see how like me and my brother's way of growing up was very unique and special. My dad was the one who picked me up, who cooked dinner, who like did the laundry. And I always say I wish that my generation was leaving the world better, but I think it's going to be up to her and her generation to make it a little bit better. The workforce was completely different when I was in my 20s. I worked in a very male-oriented field. I was a technical illustrator, and I did fighter jets. So I was very often the only woman in, in the office environment. Um, back then, in like the, the 80s, you didn't go to your boss and say, you know, someone was sexually harassing me. It was just part of the, the deal with being in the office. I don't think that that type of thing goes on anymore. Or at least it's... Yeah better reported. Do you think women are, are kind of prioritizing themselves a little bit more? Yes. So my mom tells me things and I, I sometimes I think at her age I would have already had three kids. I got my two kids already when I was 26. I was in the middle of the motherhood. Um, not the best opportunity to grow as a woman. I just feel like there's other things that now as women we know that we have different options. We don't just have to get married young and have kids and, and be a good wife. We could be professionals and we could have our own education. My parents were pretty liberal and, and you know education was very important. However, it was my brothers who were encouraged to be medical people. I was encouraged to do well in school for sure, but it wasn't with the goal of really having a profession. Her and, and my dad have instilled in me there's really no limit to what I can do and what I can achieve. I often think about how if I had been raised that way, I might have gone off in a, in a, in a different direction. I think it could be mo more of who you want to be. The people I was surrounded by were more traditional. I think women can do anything now, and I think that's where I see a change. I'm from the old school, so. <laughs> The generation today, they don't want to cook, they don't cook. You know, a lot of them eat out. She can like cook when she wanna, she can go shopping when she wanna, she can go to bed when she wanna. I grew up a different way. I feel that women's uh, reproductive health rights are imperiled. You know, there is restrictions in schools about um, sex ed. This is coming from somebody, and I was in a convent school. I was 16 when Cherish was conceived, so that would make me an 11th grader. Catholic girls are told to, you know, cross yourself and cross your legs. For me, I see advance and retract, and blessedly, I see this incredible, incredible social movement led by young women not just the hashtag MeToo movement, but uh, 
rights movement, LBGTQI movement, gender identity movement. And I notice it most talking with uh, my young grandchildren, and I'm just absolutely amazed at their views on things. They're so well informed. We talk about Me Too, we talk about politics, we talk about gender issues. I mean, there's nothing that's not on the table and there's nothing that they don't have an opinion about. I didn't go to college. It was quite different. When I was her age, it was difficult for a woman uh, to do a lot of things that women now can do. Uh, they can go wherever they want to go. They can go, they can do what they want to do. Not so when I was a young woman. I mean, she has really gone through a lot of things and she's always managed to find the positive. I see her as a complete woman. Uh, I wish I could have been the kind of woman that she is. I think it's going to take a little bit more, a little bit more time but it's getting there.